Hi, I'm Belly from Greenwood Solutions. Today's video is on AC breaker selection for three phase inverters. Circuit breakers, what are they and what do they do? According to the ever popular Wikipedia, a circuit breaker is an automatically operated electrical switch designed to protect an electrical circuit from damage caused by excess current from an overload or short circuit. Its basic function is to interrupt current flow after a fault is detected. Thanks, Wikipedia. So why do we care about circuit breakers? Well, without a circuit breaker, you can damage people. So it's an electrical safety issue, and it's also a requirement under particular electrical Australian standards. Also, warranty claims. Basically, a three-phase MCB is constructed of three individual single-phase MCBs um, joined in such a way that there's an isolation of all live conductors. So um, when you're seeing a three-phase MCB, it's effectively three single-phase put together. When sizing circuit breakers, we must take into account various factors in regards to derating. The actual temperature of the installation location it could be Darwin, it could be in North Africa, it could be anywhere in the world. The derating due to the proximity of other protective devices, in other words, other circuit breakers, and derating due to airflow inside an enclosure where the circuit breaker is being installed. So how do they do the tests? There's a body called the IEC and the particular number of this um, standard is 60947 low voltage switch gear and effectively they test circuit breakers in a lab at 40 degrees ambient temperature which may be realistic or unrealistic depending on what part of the world you're in and with a cable length of two meters. So all the breaker results you see are based on these particular tests and the conditions within the test. Now most manufacturers have derating tables, so check them out. And if in doubt, go to the next size breaker and check the cable current carrying capacity as well. Obviously, the circuit breaker that is there to protect the cable. That's one of its ro roles from both overload and short circuit situations. Make sure you understand the standards you're dealing with and select the correct breaker. Always take the rating factors into consideration when selecting the size of the breaker. So you need to size the circuit breaker for the inverter. So you'll need to determine the AC output of the inverter in watts, the three phase voltage, and in Australia and New Zealand, that is 400 volts nominal, and the square root of three, which is 1.732. The calculation is the output of the inverter in watts, divided by, in brackets, the square root of three times the nominal three-phase voltage. Now, the square root of three is 1.732. So we're talking about three-phase uh, miniature circuit breakers and how you size them for an inverter. In the case here on the board, we have a 27 kilowatt inverter, okay, connected to an isolator, connected to a secondary protection board that houses a um, MCB, which is a miniature circuit breaker, three phase. The example we have is a Fronius, that's the inverter. It's an Eco 27, so 27 kilowatt on the output. Um, here's the calculation for determining the, the current output. 27 divided by square, square root of three, 1.732 times 400 volts, which is a normal three phase voltage. And then what it comes out to is about 39 amps and we round it up to 40 amps. And of course you can go to the data sheet. Now, because it's at 40 amps, we can't use a 40 amp break. Why? We haven't done any derating at all. So the next size breaker, and there's no 41 amp breaker, there's no 42 amp breaker, so we have to go to a 50 amp breaker. Now obviously as a designer yourselves or someone interested in renewable energy, this is the, the decision you have to make. And as we discussed, the circuit breakers rating 
depends on where it's installed, the ambient temperature, what it's next to, um, and what kind of enclosure it's in in regards to airflow. The MCB sizes, so how, how big can they actually get? What's the biggest MCB? Miniature circuit breakers go up to a certain size. The max size is 125 amps, which is rarely seen or used, and mostly it's not used over an 80 amp figure. Now, with this table, you can see the example of, I've selected three common inverters, SMA, Fronius and ABB, and you can see the inverter capacity in watts, and the output in AC current from the data sheet, and then suggested MCB. Now, it is up to the installer desire to size correctly based on all information available. Conclusion. Basic function of a circuit breaker is to break the current after a fault is detected. When selecting three phase breakers for inverters, we'll need to take the rating into account. You need to know the output of the inverter, then divide by 1.732 by 400 volt normal three phase voltage for three phase inverters. Remember, where and how the circuit breaker is installed will determine how much to derate. Thanks very much for watching our video on AC breakers for three phase inverters. I'm Veli from Greenwood Solutions. If you've got any inquiries, any questions, any answers, please feel free to contact us. And if you see fit, hit the subscribe button. Thanks very much.